hair all over my face. Good morning. We're in Songsu right now. You know, like one of my favorite fashion brands, Paloma Wool. I was just on the website, like doing my usual eye shopping that I do like so often. And the first thing that popped up was like Seoul pop up this weekend. And I was like, <laughs> I love that brand so much. So it's actually right behind me. The girls are already there. I invited the girls with me because they wanted to go to a vintage shop pop up that's also here. Let's go in. I'm so freaking excited. I did try to dress a little bit like Paloma Woolly. <laughs> <gasps> so cute. That's such a Cecil necklace. I love it. Yeah, when she picked that up, we were like, that is Cecil. Cecil. That yeah. is so pretty. Oh, if my whole wardrobe yeah. could just be Paloma Wool, I will be a happy, happy girl. It's not exactly cheap though, so yeah, we're trying to hold back. They give you like a pen and paper here where you can um, write down the item that you want to try on in which size and then you can go upstairs and try them on afterwards. I like that so you don't like take an item away so like all the items are all down here you can see everything. I like that. Yeah. I think maybe that's the kind of energy you have with your head down. <laughs> okay. okay, I got like a, a good handful of things. And if you order here, Molly just said they pay customs for you. So like, it's not gonna be that expensive. Usually when you order to Korea, you, you get like a 100% markup because of taxes. Pretty on you, Freya. Oh my God. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> This is so cute. When you order from them here from the store, you get a free tote bag and it's really cute. Anyways, this morning started off great. Tomorrow I have a date with Jake. We are really trying our best to keep sort of having that romantic dating vibe, even though we're both busy people, mostly Jake busy people. I got really scared about like losing that spark because of hearing all the stories here in Korea. Most of my Korean friends are all saying that like yeah anyone they know that got married here like both parties just stop trying and stop dating each other after they get married which is really sad because I think the mentality here is like oh once you're married you can never get a divorce like though your partner is set for life like so you just stop trying I don't know I guess we could talk a little bit more about that later on but we're waiting for some food so food first oh my god so cute I just get the blue memo I don't know why but luck was on our side and we were able to get in there's a huge line this morning this is like a flea market kind of thing. Honestly, I don't know. I just know that there is whiskey. Where is the whiskey? Oh, this way. You tell me to go this way and yeah. go left. There's no I was so hungry. Guys, it's like, it's 3.48 and this is my first meal. Are you didn't have breakfast? No, because I, I woke up a bit late and then I had a lot of coffee and then I was full then from the coffee. Did you Genshin? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I played I so much so Genshin. I was so jealous. I really want to play too yes. today. I'm like, Stephanie, what 
<laughs> you look so funny with that jacket. <laughs> Yeah! God, I got a shock. <laughs> I know we said that we... Okay, I said yesterday that we're gonna spend the whole day together making an effort to like go out and have a date. Our date ended up being like sitting at home, playing games, taking turns to going to the gym and then cleaning the house a little bit. Which, you know... I guess that's just married life. <laughs> but it's okay. It was an okay decision. <laughs> Ever since we like came out with those videos about first that we got married but then after that we got engaged which was a bit confusing, sorry about that. I've gotten a couple of questions about like what the next step for us is as like a family now. And I obviously has already said a little bit that we're kind of baby sick so that is in the near future for sure for us. Um, which is it's very funny because every time we talk about that, we talk about that a lot with Jake's parents, right? Because we see them often. Mm. And Jake's dad is so fucking cute. Like yeah, he wants so four kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really selfish of him though, because he only had me. Oh. And then now he wants to see four grandkids. He's like, I only put my wife through one kid, mm. but Cecil, you can take four. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cute. It's very sweet. I think he's like, it's hopeful wishing, but it's it's also like it's not good. Yeah. Like, he's, he's joking. Yeah, he is joking. Hopefully wishing, but it's a joke. Obviously, he's. They're not. They're not very. Um, they're not very pushy people. Honestly, I have heard a lot of people who's like being pressured by family a bit when it comes to the kids and such. In Korea? No, everywhere. Ah. I think that's very normal in all families, right? Just you can see. Really? Yeah. Even in Europe? Yeah. Kids is a very sensitive topic. So I feel very grateful that we're not under that sort of pressure. Now, the reason why your dad really, and your mom for that sake, talks about having grandkids <laughs> very often is what, what your dad said. Like, he, he wants to be a granddad, he wants our kids to have grandparents, because he didn't, you didn't have that to the same extent, which is very sweet. That's true. Yeah. And even these? What do you call it? Like fence? Yeah. Little um, spiky fence. Yeah. Uh, in all the houses in Korea, mm. it's all from the 70s. Mm. Because back in the 70s in Korea, uh, the crime rate here was really high, oh. as per what my dad and mom said. It's because yeah, the country was poor. It just sounds so bizarre to imagine Korea with high crime rate because it's such a low crime rate country right now. Yeah. Let's go to Ferment then. Okay. You've never been. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Let's be lovers tonight and count the stars in our eyes Discover how they align Let's be lovers Tonight. Are you going to declare? I think that's mine. I'm not wearing any lipstick. Cheers. Cheers. Winding back though, because after we got married <laughs> and like um there are just a lot of more things to think about in that sense it's like your future just got closer just for that one fact like kids now is in our thoughts um because of that we then need to start thinking about finding a new house potentially because um cecil's taking too many spaces and i have <laughs> zero space for myself right now that's not uh, true at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, we're living in a suite that has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, but yeah. we need one more room for sure so that I finally have my own space there. <laughs> we need it for a future kid, not for you. <laughs> until then, until the kid until comes. Until then, you get the room. It's gonna be mine. You know, we have the office space that was sharing, but Jake, he doesn't... Sharing, and then her fucking desk is this much you at the my day. <laughs> This man is stabbing me in the back on camera. You said you didn't like to use the office at home. Yeah, yeah just kidding. I have my own office. So, so. I mean, it was really nice. Our first two years was amazing. It was great. It got us really nice memories, too. Yeah. But then now, like, both Siso and I are missing... I don't know how to say it. Like something like cozier. Yeah. Something more home mm -hmm. feeling. Because brand new apartments is clean and shit. But it's, it's kind of soulless. Yeah. Soulless. That's the word I was mm -hmm. looking for. Yeah. It's yeah. like every suite looks exactly the same. Yeah. <clears throat> and like. There's one place you can put the TV, one place you can put the bed, one yeah. place you can put the sofa. Because it's made that way. Sofa. Yeah. 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 So something that we can customize a little bit more, I think it's perfect for our next step in our lives as like married, potentially mm. also that, I mean that our next home will be the home that we're then going to have kids in. Yeah. So. I don't know what might have given me the impression that a real wool sweater and Uggs and a hot coffee was a good idea in 22 degrees. <laughs> I might be a little bit Delulu and just wanted like fall to come faster, but it's really freaking hot. And I really wanted to sit in the sun to get some vitamin D. I went to Cinnabon. <laughs> it's like my soul forest ritual. get myself a little cinnamon bun. Oh, why is it so tiny? <laughs> Should've gotten the big one. Soul Forest and I mean literally every time I come here I get just even more excited about bringing future kids here. <laughs> this is how baby crazy I am. It's the only thing that I can like think things in context of. It's like having kids and coming here with little kids. They've just made Soul Forest so nicely. There's this like little fairy tale land with wooden structures and stones to jump on and like I feel like I'm very often in tune with my child self, like I do a lot of things that I enjoyed as a child as well still. <laughs> Swallowing grass. Um, so I like remember what I loved and I would feel like I was in fairy tale land being here as a child. Like I feel that part of me feeling the same way just sitting here with this beautiful view. Actually, when I think about my life and how it sort of is turning out so far along the storyline, I there's a lot of things that came unexpectedly or like was different than what I had already like always imagined it when I was younger. And one of those is definitely like 
being married to someone foreign in my perspective like <laughs> to be married to someone who's not danish that was never something that i had expected or never something that i had like dreamt of it might be a little bit hard to understand especially because like there's this narrative that if you come to korea as a foreigner you come here to like find your opa i came here for one reason and one reason only and that was to grow my youtube channel and to succeed on my own i guess adventure <laughs> and marrying a foreign man that is adventure so i guess i achieved it by finding the love of my life <laughs> That gave me like the biggest shock in human history. <laughs> it makes me equally or even more excited to see you as the other way around thank you for always saying hi guys it's it always makes my day and i always just go home just full of love so thank you speaking of love <laughs> it's not like a dance on pink roses marrying someone who's not your own nationality as a matter of fact it comes with like so many different challenges that marrying your own nationality doesn't have there's a lot of things you have to think about when you marry someone that's not your nationality a lot and it's very stressful to be honest especially if you aren't on the same page with a lot of things thankfully jake and i are like a good 85 percent on the same page all the time which certainly helps something like where should we live what languages should we talk to our children in especially the like where should we live is a huge thing that people deal with when they marry someone abroad this is this is a thing that's a deal breaker for me if my partner wasn't open to the idea of moving to denmark in the future i wouldn't be able to go ahead with the relationship it's that important to me thankfully jake has been to like uh, denmark I don't know how many times now, five? And he really likes it. And he definitely sees himself living there in the future as well. And another good thing is that Jake's dad is a huge fan of Denmark. And he keeps saying, he's like, so kids, where are you gonna live in the future? And then we're supposed to say Denmark. He wants the best for his grandchildren. And he thinks that Denmark is that solution, which honestly, life for kids i think that's true <laughs> so yeah one day in the future we're gonna move to denmark but that's not at all in the near future so don't you worry <laughs> okay let's go home guys